The only way to make sure your filters are actually working properly is with the red dye test, so stay tuned because I'm gonna show you step by step just how to do it. Hey guys, it's Brian from waterfilterguru.com and I'm excited to jump into this video because testing your Berkey filters to make sure they're working and actually doing what they're supposed to be doing is just so important, so let's get after it. First, fill the chamber with cold water to make sure there are no leaks from the filter seals or the hole plugs. Once you've checked this, you can go ahead and empty the reservoir. Now place sturdy, equal-sized clear glass containers under each filter stem. You wanna make sure that each filter stem has its own glass. This will allow us to judge the performance of each filter separately and identify those which may have issues. If you just collect the water as normal in the bottom reservoir, there would be no way to tell which filter was having issues while the others aren't if there's one that's failing. In a separate container, add one teaspoon of artificial red dye per gallon of water and mix thoroughly. Now we can pour the dye solution into the top chamber and just wait to see what we get filtering through the bottom. Before we check back and see my results, if you're finding value in this video, could you do me a huge favor and hit that like button and leave me a comment? Have you ever done the red dye test yourself? If so, what were your results like? Let me know in the comment section below. Okay, once you've collected enough water to fill two thirds of the glass you're using, you can go ahead and discard the remainder from the top reservoir. The filtered water should be clear without any pink or red tint at all. As you can see, one of the glasses in my test filled up a lot faster than the other. This indicates that the filter with the slower filtration rate either needs to be cleaned or reprimed. If the water isn't clear, check that the wing nut is correctly and securely tightened, and then retest. If you're still getting a result with discolored water, that indicates that the filter element is compromised and should probably be replaced. Okay guys, that's it for this one. Nice and quick and easy. You can click on the screen right now to keep watching more of my Berkey water filter videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.